Welcome back, Alice Lovick here. Welcome to the start of a brand new campaign. So we're going to be moving away from the Chaos Infections for a little bit. We're going to be playing some Kiss Live today. And we're going to be playing a Lord we haven't ever played before. Costalin. I'm going to say that's how you pronounce it. I'm not going to try and pronounce her name. That is the Lord we have played before. We did play her in the Realms of Chaos. Fun campaign, fun campaign. We do have Boris as well, but I might hold Boris for another time. Costalin. Costalin. Definitely not Rasputin. No, no, it's definitely not pronounced that way. Uh, right. What's he got, mate? Now, uh, different relations. Oh, that's all faction effects. It's the same for her, right? Nope, nope, completely different. Okay. Uh, faction effects, different relations. Minus 40 with the faction of the Ice Court, really. So he doesn't like her. Okay. Uh, Devitation generated 10 from successful Patriarch hero actions. Would save 20% for Patriarchs. Melee attack plus 5 for Corsairs. Corsavite dervishes oh god and horse archers yep uh, leadership plus five for the same and uh, wound recovery time minus two for him and here's his frenzy i think he, i thought he was a caster don't quote me on that he might be a caster don't know I haven't played him like i said I haven't played him it should be interesting i really like his live they're actually a really fun pack our uh, faction to play i like the whole we can kill you by from range but we can also kill you in melee if you get close enough <laughs> i like it i like it there is another Lord coming out for Kesslev, which I find quite interesting. She's going to be, I think from my understanding, I've only really seen the, the like intro cardy thing. She's going to be available for K both Kesslev and the Empire? Don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that. So I was contemplating holding off playing Kesslev until that came out, which is coming out with the Chaos Dwarfs. That's all right. We can come back and play it if we want to. We'll see how this goes. Apparently this campaign is very, very hard. This is another one of those uh, brutal campaigns. Hey, uh, okay, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Can't be as bad as some of the ones, right? No. No, no, no. Oh, shit. We have to have a look at see what he buffs as well. Like, oh, a cup of coffee episode two. Let's, let's go mandatory for episode number one. Hmm. Ah, oh, this is good. Yes. Ah, oh, was that my Russian accent? Yeah, it's about as only one you're going to get. Right, I do apologize for completely and utterly butchering every name in this campaign going forward. I did my best. Kostalin? Kostalin. I think that's how you pronounce it. I think so. I don't know. I'm just making it up. The problem with being on this side of the world, I guess. It's this faction that's obviously completely not based on Russia. And this guy's definitely not based on Rasputin. So, yeah. Warbears are a unit we didn't really get to use a lot in her campaign, eh? Tsarina? Because the T's silent, right? I think, from memory. You guys told me how to pronounce it. I like the gun units in this. The Stritzy? Yeah, they're so powerful, but there is the issue that they are a gunpowder unit, and you guys know how good I am with gunpowder units, which is terrible, but they are a very strong unit. Even though their stats don't kind of indicate that either. I think they're like 30 damage or 32 damage or something like that. So if we can get those up early, and I can use them properly, <laughs> I think that's more the point. If I can use them properly... They do do a shit ton of damage. It's actually insane. They have the advantage up here. We wait for the program to respond. Do not crash. We have the advantage up in this kind of region where it's not as terrainy as um, like in the Vampire Coast campaign where there's just hills and stuff everywhere. From memory, there's a lot less up on this side of the world. But I don't know where he has to go. I think he still starts in his original start position, uh, which is up just north of the Empire. I think I'll find out in a second. I don't think a lot of that stuff is, yeah, very hilly and stuff like that that we need to worry about. Right, let's go, lads. Yeah, he does. Okay, so this is his original start position. We're not going to listen to that. Right, so that's got to be Rebels or something, right? So we start with Erengrad, which is good. So where are the Stretzy from here? There. Okay. So we will go towards them. 
Little Grom's good, eh? From memory. These these ladies are absolutely insane, but we'll try not to use them, because we used them in the last campaign. We'll have a look at him first, I'm not sure who he buffs. Is he a caster? That is the question. He's not. He's not a caster, mate. He's definitely not. He's very low stats for not being a caster. Oh my god. Let's get a war bear. That'll help him tremendously. Is he like a buffer? I think he's like a buffer. Buffs all this stuff around him. Okay, so he doesn't buff any individual units as such. Patriarchs, which is the lords. Or the heroes. No, so he doesn't actually buff any particular unit, which is kind of good. Because then we can kind of build him however we want. So we need to get Patriarchs up then. Is that one? Yes. So what do they do? Oh, they're essentially the same. They're like a buffer unit as well. I guess if you get them all on beers, that's pretty powerful. So how far up in the tree are they? Uh, Patriarchs, Patriarchs. Over there? Yes. They only give you one though, right? So that means we have to go on just that. Okay, that's okay. And we'll get that too. And I guess that. Might not. Might as well. Might as well. So do we still have this buff thing we do? So we've got to beat her to combine the regions, right? Uh, technologies. Unlocks ice court traps. Well, we might get maidens, but not right now. Let's recruit me around for... Kiss, all kiss live units is probably the way to go because then we get plus one straight away. I'm looking to see if there's anything that gives us buffs to the patriarchs. It's not though, is it? You can get some pretty powerful ice switches too. You get the ones that give you like plus 10% damage and stuff like that. It's actually insane. Right, put him in there. Let's have a look at our win condition, see what we have to do. So Clan Mulder is over there, and the Atastic Legions, which is up into there, okay. And we have to have at least 600 supporters. Where's that listed? In there somewhere. I don't know. In there somewhere. It's Devotion, that's different. Yeah, so these guys, actually, they're only 17 damage, my god. I guess that's before the buffs and stuff come into it, right? So this is its only region, so we need to go control there if we can. Yep, thank you. And those two are part of the other one. Okay, well let's get this region first and foremost. Right, we're definitely fighting that. So I've only, we've only played Kissive once, so... We're not exactly... Um, we call it familiar with how they play as such. We did win that campaign though, right? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Completely different, of course, though, because it's... Uh, it was Realms of Chaos, not not this. Right, let's see if I didn't lie about these dudes. Pretty sure not. It's a light war sledge as well. That's pretty good. We actually don't have any infantry. Actually, we don't have any infantry at all. No, we've just got archers and stuff. Okay, yes, it's not... Oh, actually, that's a wee hill right there. Uh, that's probably enough to actually... Fort us. Thwart us? Fort us. And the archers... So these guys have to come up and just skirmish. So I, I don't understand what he is. He's, I think he's just a melee buffer. Same as those guys. Uh, you go on there. Is that the range version? Yeah, it is. It's a light war sledge. So they can be part of that group. You guys can just be part of that group since we don't actually have any infantry as such. And then... That's fine. Right, so I'm just going to see if I can move up onto this hill, although they're actually moving towards me, so let's actually back up onto that hill. Let's back these guys out. Right, we're not taking that fight, mate. So 
the heat buffs. Yeah, leadership charge bonus. He's got the same. So those guys are basically the same. So the archers definitely outrange these guys. We outrange those, right. Let's not get shot to pieces. Right, come on, lads. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they did a lot of damage. Even though these stats would indicate otherwise. Alright, shoot that guy. I'll shoot that guy if you can. Pull them back so they have to come out of that forest, ideally. These guys have shields too, remember. So it's basically just a giant range duel at this stage. If it's shield breaker, that'd be amazing, but we don't. Right, that's it. And then you can guys can run in there. You can run in there too. In here, my son. Easy to take some damage. Let's get him out. Alright, you can turn on to that. Alright, now come back. Guy's a melee guy. He's kind of beating us, isn't he? Alright, break that off onto these guys, they must be out of ammo. Alright, War Sledge come over. Oh, dude, get out. They do a lot of damage in melee too, these guys. Obviously being giant beers helps. Turn on to that guy, please. It should be on guard mode, actually. So, one of the things that guard mode does is if, say, this side's blocked, if it's not on guard mode, none of them will fire. But if they're on guard mode, these guys will still fire. So whoever's got an actual shot will actually take it. Whereas if you don't put them on guard mode, it won't. But of course, the downside to that is they won't move forward if they need to. So there's uh, positives and negatives to both. Right, that's pretty terrible. <laughs> that actually was pretty terrible. Uh, we have to take the replenish me. Alright, so he's leveled, so we gain that. Uh, are you going to take replenish because we need it? Normally we'd just push onto that. Oh, there's only six in there. Seven in that. I think I hold off. Recruit some stuff. God, we can't actually get any. Infantry, where does that come from? There. Okay, well, so I can't get any. Right, let's grab another round of... Spears give you that anti-large. If you need it. Right, let's have a look at diplomacy. Now, of course, we've just finished the corn campaign where you basically just chuck them into melee and 
That's it. <laughs> That's literally it. So it's going to take us a wee while to be a bit more tactical about things. So we've grabbed that, but he hasn't got any units into there yet, I don't think. I don't think that'll give him five free units in one turn. Or oh, might actually. No, it didn't. Okay. Well, that's going to help us a bit. A couple of extra units. Oh, man. Okay, we're going to have to fight this. We're going to fight quite a lot of battles, I feel, in this campaign. That's okay. Considering he's all range, I feel like we should use this as more as the actual for the melee side of it rather than the range side because it does do a lot of melee damage and then use this guy on the other flank. Same map or close enough. I want those to be four deep actually. Give me two on that side and then two on that side. One of these on each flank because I don't want him to fight the Lord actually if they can help it. Gonna put them on guard mode. We may even turn to auto guard mode for this campaign. Let's bring that sled up. I want the guns to shoot him, ideally. You see, you're just not gonna win that. Actually, enough the guns can shoot down there with that wee dip. Should be after it. I'll give them a volley first. Yep, that's all they do a lot of damage, mate. Right, now him. Now these guys in. And you in. Start shooting that guy. Just keep this thing moving. God, you guys aren't even in range. Alright, get them out. Gotta get them out of there. That's it, get them to break. Still need you guys to shoot that if you can. Looks like he healed up a wee bit. One that broke. So, I mean, considering they're only 17 damage, they do do a lot of damage. That's why I let the guns just do some more work. And he's taking no extra damage, and that'll be us. Nice. Yeah, we're going to have to play it slow and really utilize our range damage. See if those guys can kill him off. I think we kind of talked about this in the last campaign last time we played these guys that we think we well, don't know for sure but i think these guys are so good because they're so accurate because they seem to pump out way more damage than they really should based on their stats alone 
Again, we may be wrong, but that's just my observations is that. They seem to decimate pretty much anything you put in front of them. You get minor supporters for that? That's a bit rude, mate. Alright, what do we gain out of that? Nothing really. I am Constantin! Give your life for Kislev! Alright, up to level 3. We need to get this guy up into lightning strikes. I am Trout! Well, we probably want at least three, right? So we're going to have one of each of those. Of these guys. We are the world shield. So that next level is going to give us the ability to actually get some infantry. But we'll have to come back into here to actually get them. Actually, that's our border there, right? I don't know if we go infantry, infantry, or if we go the guys that have a bit of range damage as well. Like, if we go here... Oh, it's only seven. No, we can't hit it anyway this turn. That's okay. So we've got these guys, which is straight infantry, or these guys, which is infantry, but they have that range damage as well. Which these guys obviously silver shielded. Let me grab those just so they're more tanky, right? Alright, this is probably not actually going to give us an extra one of these. But it's only plus one. And we've already got one, so... It's not actually going to count, is it? But if we can lock this in... Oh, that's good, that's good. This region, that is. We're mostly going to be fighting Skaven and then Chaos, I guess. Is that Slaanesh? Is those the ones who steal your stuff without having to do anything? That's so annoying. Alright, let's go. It's not a siege. Let's fight it. I don't think we need to take medium casualties there for nothing. Few more units than we dealt with last time, but that's okay. It's going to be the same tactic, except this time we do have some axe infantry with good shields. Can you put auto? I'm going to try it, just for the start. I want to go nearly front. Uh, hello? So you're saying that's all melee? What about these guys? Where are they? Oh, they do have range damage. Oh, okay. Right, where's the Lord? Where is the Lord? Must be the forest. Oh, that's fine. Alright, you go there, sir. You go there. Nice. Too big to hide in there, mate. Okay. Two. They're on skirmish. Let's try and get them up and around. There he is. Surely two of them can kill him. Yeah, these guys are just not good. Not good versus this faction, that's for sure. Should win the range duel because we've got more.
They both have the exact same buffer. them have done a bit of damage, you might as well pop your one. Almost out of ammo. So these guys here have anti-large as well, and that guy's on a mount. I guess you rely on just getting so many Patriarchs that, although, yeah, although they're not great damage-wise, there's just so many of them, it just doesn't matter. Like five of them on a freaking beer mounts, you know? That's just enough damage to kill pretty much anything. And some of these guys aren't actual range damage. Yeah. Pretty good. You're pretty dying. Good stuff. It's definitely less damage than medium. Except for that guy almost died. Yeah, I think first these guys have got to use that sledge that way. It's probably going to be the same versus Skaven as well, to be fair. We just need that melee damage. Good, done that region. So we'll get control in there as well. I can't really recruit anything in here, unfortunately. Alright, local corruption. I think local corruption's actually going to be pretty decent, but I'll go control. Alright, so we want vigor. That's very good. Melee attack is also very good. But of course, healing is the best. Right, let's have a look at... No, I'll do Diplomacy next turn. I think I buff... Oh, sorry, run back into this other region. So what bonus do those guys have? Just the armor-piercing weapon damage, right? Same range damage and stuff. One for every five. Well, if we go... Let's... Control. I think that dude with plus five income and three control, right? Oh, was that that guy? Nope. Oh, why can't I get right? Um, who is that one? I, I plus ten. It's none of those, man. I don't actually know who that is. Alright, well, it's fine. No, no, you are. Yeah, I don't really want to push over this way without... Without a full stack. We'd just be asking for trouble. Alright, plus one recruitment rank is good. Let's just go here for now. So now they come in at rank one. A couple more of those. Just double check we can't get another Patriarch. We can't. Frost Maidens must be trained through the Ice Court before doing that. Which one's the one that gives heaps of buffs? It's Ice Maiden, isn't it? So maybe we'll do Ice Maiden you next. It's Frost Maiden, sorry. Punish. 
One at a time, eh? Uh, we're going to look at diplomacy now. We've got a province under our belt. You sought to undermine my rule. Ah. Yeah, so helps us to the north ever so slightly. Although I doubt he's going to survive very long. Kneel to Orson. So if we can get the range damage buffs from the lords, from the maidens or whatever it is. I don't I can't remember if it's maidens or witches. I honestly can't remember. But if we can get either of those with buffs, that'll be amazing. Give me seven turns. Oh no, we can do it. Okay. So we do witch or ice. Oh, sorry, Tempest or Ice, we'll do Ice for sure. Which lords are the heroes, are they not? And maidens are the... The lords, sorry, and the maidens are the heroes. Yeah, I think that's how that works. I think we just did the wrong one. Okay, it's a pretty chunky infantry line now. I'll upgrade that one first. It's closer. So with him on his mount, does that actually help at all, or will we really need to wait till we get the beer? That there, though. Oh, he's got a full stack right there. Okay. Can I move him into the area? Yeah. 10% extra income. Put out all spells, construction costs for all bones. Yeah, so this is the... It's definitely that one. She's definitely one that buffs... She's definitely the Lord, sorry, not the hero. Couple little beers over there, nice. Yeah, Skaven might attack us here. Since he had that army down there. Guess not. Is that a rebellion? Yes. Alright, gotta kill that. That's an in intrusion. Chaos intrusion. Alright, leaderships, chuck down one of those dudes. Low's fine. So we get more devotion. Army replenishment or unit experience. I'm going to take the devotion because we need to get that up high, right? right? He's on a horse too now. Right, that gets them almost back to full health. Right, more control. More replenishment, thanks. We're close enough to actually fight, isn't it? Just got enough control on there. Garrison's not great though. Growth is an issue in that region, eh? Repel the chaos. It does unfortunately give Skaven a chance to build up a bit. My lord, a rival power desires a change in your mutual relations. How powerful is that? A Skaven will attack us. I just, it's just a matter of time, but I'm currently at war with them. Right, 
Right, so Frost Maiden is now available. Yes. So weapon strength for infantry. So then we're going to go through that whole process again, but with the maidens. Right, so you've got 12 in there. Do you have an army? Not that we can see. Let's go ambush, so hopefully he can't see us. Right, so that was that one. Right, let's try and buff some of these guys, eh? Growth and casualty punishment rate are probably both worthwhile. Is that and that the same region? Oh, doesn't matter, he died anyway. Right, it's going to have walls, right? Don't be stealing my stuff! Oh, I hate these stupid things. Such a stupid faction. Ah, so if we get that high, we don't get as many chaos intrusions. Right. Ah, so it's here. So we want to go frost. Hope we get something good. Well, if we don't, we just take it anyway, right? Until we can actually get something good. Little caravan arrived for us. That's good. Yes. Jeez, it did all that damage to us. Yes, I realised that wasn't a good idea to um, do that, but that's okay. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, we might have just got ourselves killed. Betrayers. If I can survive Betrayers this one turn. I might be alright. The bear. Oh, hello. We're not alright. Can I get out of here or nah? Nah, we're dead. We're actually dead here. Hmm. Do not touch the damn. Oh, yeah. We are. None of those are good. I can't leave here. Oh, that's walls. Because he can see just from there. I don't even think with towers it's enough. Oh, he doesn't make it. He doesn't make it. Get out of here. We gotta run, man. <laughs> we gotta run. There's nowhere we can stay there. Like, like I'm sorry, I gay. Uh, sorry, I took your stuff. Um, I'm just gonna go down here. Actually, I'm gonna go over there. 
The Skaven kind of worried me too. Thank you. Betrayers! Betrayers all around! Oh, so he can see him as well. I build this for Kislev! Alright, now what we want to do... Who's kind of on the fence? He is. I don't know if he'd want that settlement though. Greetings on behalf of the no, Empire. can't trade with him. What about you? My can't give him a settlement either. What? What about you? Greetings on behalf of the Empire. Now what brings He's... you here with a sheath blade? No, nobody wants that. Okay. Who calls? Ah, dude. The Empire. I stand apart. Your reverence towards me has been noted. Accept. Okay, we'll take that trade. Um, where is my army? Thank you. Thank you. Jeez. Supreme. Does your country freeze, Kislova? He's got no. Has he not taken damage when he's got no um settlements? Get up. Get up two then. Okay, well at least we got out of there I suppose. We probably should have sacked it then. I don't know where his army was obviously. I don't know how I killed that dude man. Such a good lord. We are his land. I suppose at least we slowed him down a wee bit. So she's available. She can Vanguard. She can be after Vanguard, that should be quite nice. No! So he's gonna go for that. Uh, the we don't protect it. Oh, you're way up to there. Gonna be worthwhile or not. Uh, melee defense or growth. Alright, so we got that one. Do not grab that. So he's not. Alive at the moment, as such, is he? I don't think so. I don't understand why I can't actually recruit him. So that's the lord that we just made, yeah. So they make lords. So I just want to get that cheaper for construction up in there. Plus she does... She's got actually four control, which is the same as that other thing. So we might be able to swap over the commandment for the region. With her being in there. Alright, so he's coming down. If this guy doesn't attack us, this guy will probably attack next turn. He backed off, okay. I went way down there. A step too far. I switch. The ice goes. It's only plus two here. Only I. Bread, throat. Very well. Not a chance. 
I am truth. Drive through the pain. Sister of Ice. Yeah, here he comes. Stop that one. I should finish. Frost Weaver, we require soldiers. She buffs them. Storm Summoner. Yeah, there's no point building that because it's about to get smashed in the face. The pain is about to begin. If we can kill him though, we're in a good spot. It's just a question of can we? He backed away. We just got another caravan too. Nice. Alright guys, that's where we're going to wrap this one up. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit that like button. It really does help the channel out. Thanks for watching guys, and we will see you next time.